Hey, what's going on? Heartland Sports here. Hold on, let me just mute this TV real quick. So basically, uh, today's video, it's just a quick little update here. Um, I did stream it earlier on YouTube, but that didn't go well because the Wi-Fi ended up uh, cutting out. But uh, basically what I'm just going to talk about real quick is um, about what I have here in front of me, which is the news that came out within the past couple days, uh, two to three days, about the MLS resuming play uh, in July with kind of a tournament set up uh, because it's already so late in the season for the past three months this whole coronavirus epidemic has been uh, the spotlight so basically what I have here is updates via ESPN and what basically the news that we have um, uh, so far going into this um, so obviously it's going to be like a group stage match that will be played at the ESPN uh, wide world of sports in Orlando, right outside Walt Disney World. They have a bunch of uh, fields there and stuff. And so the beginning, hoping to start play, according to this article here, on July 8th. Let me just make sure that's right. So, yeah, and there'll be different group stages. Um, so the, uh, the West, for example... Uh, will be consisting of three, four, four team groups for the group stages. And the East um, will be one six-group team uh, because Nashville will be coming over from the Western Conference along with two four-group teams. Um, so obviously since it's playing Orlando, the, the team in Orlando, Orlando City Soccer Club, um, was seated in a group with the Atlanta United, Toronto FC, LAFC, the Sounders, and Real Salt Lake, comprising of the remaining seed teams. So obviously, uh, like I said, July 8th, uh, each team will start by playing three matches. Um, so, fans, so fans in the U.S. can watch these games on ESPN Networks, which is nice. So we actually will see it to watch some of these uh, on TV, which is interesting. Um, the top teams in each group will advance to the knockout stages um, with the final beginning on August 11th. And the full game schedule and all that stuff is still being determined. But obviously this is huge news for MLS because there was worry in the beginning about um, the whole thing being locked out or canceled because of the virus. Um, but it's good to see they're at least putting in a tournament in uh, to some, out some way so the teams can at least play three matches each. And from there... Um, They'll go to the groups, uh, you know, they'll play the group stages and go all the way to the final and they'll determine a the winner. Um, just like, you know, hockey resuming and basketball resuming within the next month or two, um, you know, whoever wins this, this trophy, this MLS Cup, uh, will be a special cup for sure, one with an asterisk next to it um, during a pandemic like this. Um, in terms of the fans, I have not seen anything in an article about any fans attending these games. I'm not really expecting it to which is why they'll be broadcasting on ESPN networks. Um, but it'll be great to see it on ESPN. Um, some teams you probably don't normally see on ESPN, but I know they kind of they like to throw it around and uh, you know give uh, every team a chance to be on live TV. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, like, this, like I said, this is an update uh, just on the MLS news and resuming of games uh, starting July 8th. So mark your calendars for your MLS fan. I'm definitely rooting for Atlanta United or Orlando City. So... Uh, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk more MLS once the season gets started.